Welcome back. You are watching Go, and we're hanging out at the Pomeroy where the MPA Hockey School has been going on, and they are in their 11th year. Obviously, very successful. I'm with Brad Fast, and he's been running this school this year. Tell me, how has it gone the 11th year that you guys have done this? I mean, has anything changed? How's it going? Well, other than the rocky start, with not knowing whether or not we'd have ice, um, everything has gone really smooth. It's been it's been fantastic. Uh, we, we've had uh, a great showing from the community. All the kids showing up. Um, we have a great sponsor in Ace and Ernie's and, uh, and Mustang. Basically, after the initial hitches, it's just been a great camp. Brad Fast is a born and bred energetic city local. He started his hockey career with the Fort St. John Flyers before moving to Prince George to play in the BCJHL. He earned the nickname Fasty and climbed the ranks and made it to the end-all, be-all NHL, playing for the Carolina Hurricanes. But it is his humble beginnings that brings him back to his hometown each year to teach the new youth a thing or two on the ice. I actually live in Michigan now. Um, I was born and raised here, so we started this 11 years ago with some friends of mine. We, we got together, we said, well, we'd really like to give back to the community. And what better way to do it than, than bring back some of the things that we learned throughout the year from playing all over the world. I've heard that you have been having a great time chatting it up at the hockey school. Can you tell me a little bit about what the week's been all about, what you've been learning? Uh, Patrick Kane, like moves and stuff like that. That's what Brad's been teaching me. <laughs> and what's Brad like as a coach? He's funny, <laughs> easy to work with, I guess. You've been having a good time, it sounds like. Yeah. We want to make sure they're getting out there, learning the game, learning that hockey is a very fun sport. Once they get up into the older age groups, we want to make sure that we're leaving with them with some habits. We're going to work on skills throughout the week. However, we want to make sure that the skills they're working on now are going to be applicable when the season starts. Some stuff that they can think about, let's do in their brains for a little while, and then use it when it's time to go try out for their teams or get ready for the season. And yes, there were girls playing on the ice as well with a wide range of ages from 5 to 16. Brad's six-year-old son Beckett said he enjoyed the camp, but it's his big brother Riley that's the real star on the ice. After the week-long rigorous training, we think they are going to sleep well after. How sore are you on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm probably an 8. <laughs> Are you going to treat yourself any to like a special dinner or anything fancy since after the week of hard work you've just done? I'm going to have a bath. <laughs> With some Epsom salts? Have you heard how good those are? Yeah, I have them every night. So in Get out! This kid's just like me and we have one day of hard on our birthdays. We have a lot in common here, Zach. And I think the most important question and what people are probably wondering, are we going to see you back next year? Of course, of course. We're excited. We're already looking forward to next year, believe it or not. If you'd like to enroll your children next year, keep tabs on their website, northpeacealumni.com. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Emily Moyes.